A masterpiece is found in the collection of National Museum in Krakow, Poland. It is from the High Renaissance period. It is the lady with an ermine, also called Portrait of Tatilia Carilani, a 16-year-old, the favorite mistress of Ludovico Maria Forza, Duke of Milan. The author is Leonardo da Vinci. He was born in 1452 in the Republic of Florence, Italy, and he died in 1519 in France. He was an Italian painter, inventor, sculptor, architect, engineer, and astronomer. He was praised as a Renaissance man or universal man. The painting was painted around 1489 to 90. Leonardo spent time in Milan to work in the court of the Duke of Milan. Lady with an Ermine was commissioned by him, whose nickname was the White Ermine. The goal of the painting was to affirm the relationship of the couple in a more public manner. The technique, composition with a meaning and history made the Lady with an Ermine a unique masterpiece. The painting is one of the four female portraits of Leonardo da Vinci. Compared to a traditional court portrait, her contraposto pose is twisted. The head turns left and the body faces right, which is Leonardo's three-quarter view. The painting shows many techniques of the High Renaissance painting. Leonardo's technique of shading, costumato, or smokiness was used to create the gradations in the woman's neck and chest. It shows Leonardo's style of light and shadow crossing. And we have the chiaroscuro which means that he used shadow to make a three-dimensional relief of the figure. The ermine is a symbol of purity and moderation. The ermine might represent the woman's maiden name, since it is similar to the Greek word for weasel, and it could represent Ludovico Sforza, because he was part of the Neapolitan order of the ermine, and his nickname was Ermelino Bianco which means white ermine. Leonardo could not paint Cecilia and Ludovica together because he was going to be married to Beatrice de Ste. Therefore, he um, is represented with an ermine. During the Renaissance, the ermine represented pregnancy. The artist covers the pregnancy of Cecilia, who gave birth to their son Cesare. The Italian Renaissance is characterized by a renewed interest in classical ideals, such as naturalism in art. The portrait represents the Renaissance idea of natural vitality by using the knowledge and skills of anatomy and lighting, creating a realistic three-dimensional figure. This shows interest in realism and symbolism. The author used techniques of high Renaissance painting such as fumato and chiaroscuro. Moreover, it depicted an unreligious topic. Ludovico was a patron of the art, a new idea of humanism, someone who financed artists to create works of art, while Tilia Calerani received an education. She studied Latin and music and wrote poetry. Her beauty almost caused political issues. Ludovico was betrothed to the daughter of the Duke of Ferrara, which united two of the most important families of the Italian Renaissance. She became a mistress of the Duke, however Beatrice d'Este forced him to send Tatilia away. He described Tatilia as beautiful as a flower, while he described Beatrice as a pleasing little thing. The artist used the new medium of oil pen paint introduced in the 1470s from the Netherlands. It was a revolutionary technique since most artists created frescoes. According to some historians, it is the first portrait of the modern ages and the first Renaissance painting of a woman showing her personality and mind, not only her beauty. Multiple artists drew their inspiration from the painting, such as Igor Nabrowski with his painting called Lady with Ermine, Tony Fernandez, Stacy, inspired by Leonardo da Vinci's Lady with an Ermine, and we have a YouTube tutorial to draw a geometric version of the Lady with an Ermine using cello tape.